It's a typhoon. Woo! It's raining. Typhoon rain. Typhoon or or winna or something like that. We are in a, a typhoon signal flag three, which is not the most severe of the signal flags. Uh, yeah, typhoon has gone up. We're now. Um, it's actually a bit north of us now. It's making its way into Guangzhou, China, but we're still getting the uh, bands. We just got a break in the uh, bands, and that's why I've jumped out to go get a hamburger or maybe some fish and chips or something. But, you know, there's like very few cars on the road. The kindergartens are out. They didn't go to school today. That's why you see all these little kids running around, is all the kindergarten kids didn't have school today because of the typhoon three. Um, we actually have about two weeks of rain forecast. We've had about... Uh, we've had rain now for about four or five days, and we've got rain in the forecast for the next four or five days. Uh, it is the rainy season. Of course, we had 15 days of sunshine, um, heat and just heat and sunshine, and now we're getting 15 days of rain, it seems. So uh, we're going to make our way down Old Peak. There's been a, a large tree has fallen down here, crushing some cars, I think, or blocking the road. So traffic's a bit of a nightmare down here at least it was when I tried to come up earlier today so actually I had a half mind to go say hey let's go to Shake Shack of course there'll still probably be a freaking line today this road is starting to crumble I actually spun out coming up this road earlier today hey bonjour France bonsoir I don't know what time it is over there I guess it's early morning so bonjour Whoa. So we're in a gap. You know, the rain comes in bands. In fact, you can see a band up there. Oh, geez, when that hits us, it's going to suck. You can see the clouds coming down the mountain. I'm, I'm about 300 meters in front of those clouds. So if I can stay in front of that storm, I'm not going to get soaked. But it is coming in from the south. It is moving pretty quickly. So let's see if we... This, uh, we timed this. I've been star staring out the window for like... And watching the weather radar for um, oh, for a good half hour, waiting for just this break. Oh, crap, it is coming down. It's coming down right at those trees there. Caps are leading 4-3. Oh, wow, that's good. So there'll be burning cars and looting city, looting 7-Elevens in our nation's capital sometime later tonight. Oh, it's a hockey game, right? I guess they don't do that for hockey, unless you're in Canada. All the Caps fans and their new jerseys with the price tag still hanging off them, because that is the definition of a bandwagon fan. Hey, Coyote, welcome to Hong Kong, where we are in a typhoon. And right now, though, it's not that bad, but it's going to get bad when those clouds come down the mountain, and they're not that far away. I've, I don't have much time. I've got about 20 minutes, maybe, I think. I've got about 10 or 20 minutes before we get another clobbering. We've been getting clobberings all day. Suddenly, it's just like a, a whiteout. You can't see anything because of all the rain. And I actually had to drive in it. That was kind of stupid. Because of the trees down there, there's no taxis. So, hey, Zen, how's it going? All these guys are out trying to get taxis for their residents in their, the doorman here. Yeah, he's going to go nuts. So I'm Penguin 6. I live here in Hong Kong, at least for another month. I lived here eight years, but I'm moving back. I'm moving back to America next month. Pretty sad about that, actually. Am I going to the American Diner? You know, that's an option. I could go to the diner. I was actually thinking of going to Shake Shack for a burger. But there's actually, there's a Spanish, a Spanish place that makes a really good hamburger. I've been eating that lately. And I also kind of like that peri-peri chicken. I was kind of thinking maybe I'd go to the peri-peri chicken place. But, um, no, we'll see. We gotta, i tell you what's going to really happen is when, this, when the downpour hits us again. It's going to be like, first restaurant I see when the next rain band comes through. And the next rain band is, God, it's almost back where I started the video. All right, we got to keep moving. Yeah, 
Yeah, this tree is still down up here. This has caused this traffic jam. So maybe we'll go see this down tree. They've been working on it. They've been working on it since like yesterday. Maybe some more fell down. Yeah, I don't want to get wet. Even the cops are stuck in traffic. Sucks to be a cop. Hit the siren, man. Zap him with the siren. I don't know if it's a banyan tree. Probably. Those banyan trees have got a lot of leaves. They take on a lot of water. I don't know if I can go down this path and see anything. But the traffic is a nightmare. It's backed up. Like, oh, there's a cop back there. He's got his little light on back there. I think I can go down. I can't really go down that side. There's nothing to see. Oh, you know what? Screw it. These guys aren't going anywhere. Here I am, like, waiting for the light to change. I just jaywalked behind the cop car. I can go this way. I bet I could see it from this way, probably. There's more cops right up here. I think we're really close to the uh, down tree. I'm going to cut in front of the Tesla. So if a Tesla hits you in the rain, do you get electrocuted? Yeah, we were in Sheko Beach during the last typhoon. That was awesome. That was just awesome. A couple of you yelled at me for taking my kids down to a beach in a typhoon, but they remembered it. They saw nature's power and fury and a dead fish. That was a fun event. That was with Nishan on that trip, actually. We're going to live in Washington, D.C., actually. i got to buy a house, though. Wow, they're, like, turning cars around. Oh, wow, they're making them, like, just do U-turns, even. This is bizarre. Nobody's getting through here. Oh, we got the tree down. God, they're bringing in, like, look at that. They're bringing in giant girders to reconstruct the wall. They're not letting anybody through. Is that normal? No, this isn't normal. This is a massive, oh, my God, it's a, it's a landslide. It's not just a tree. Look at the wall. The wall of the buildings, the wall, this retaining wall has been just washed out. Threatening that, uh, threatening the hospital actually. That's why the girders are coming in. That's a pretty severe thing. So that hospital is actually structurally in trouble. That's why they're bringing in the emergency girders. They've got to, uh, they've got to rebuild the foundation and support the hospital. So they're bringing in these girders to uh, put under this wall. And that's a pretty severe thing. So yeah, that hospital building uh, is losing the retaining wall right there. It's holding it up structurally. That ain't good. Alright, let's go down this Escher painting over here. They're busy fixing that. Oh crap, here comes the rain. See those gray clouds? Damn, I'm gonna get nailed. Oh, wait a second, how do I get the conduit? I gotta go down and then I gotta go back up and then I gotta go over. That's right, this is the most ridiculous Escher painting staircase ever. So, 
The heavy stuff is coming shortly. Ten seconds left. Yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, what, I can't go down here? Come on. Oh, this is fucking stupid. Go down there, yeah? Why is this? Oh, that's silly. Screw this. That's fucking stupid. So, that thing's closed, but you can walk around there and come down the same way. It's like, guys. Oh, wow, look at all the dirt. Walking and walking, I think. Wow, that's a massive tree. Pretty huge. Okay, so now we're under the freeway. Please post the restaurants. You know, I'm actually thinking of uh, doing like a video blog of all my favorite restaurants and like directions to get to them. So you guys could always like check out where I used to eat. I was actually was writing one up for a friend because they were asking me the other day. What the heck? The screen's too... Yeah, we'll do that, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna actually... I'm actually gonna make a little gift to all those ladies at the noodle shop. Probably. Say goodbye, give them a red bag. I'm going back to the United States, to Washington, D.C. Uh, we don't do the packing. We pay people to do that for us. So they arrive July 3rd. They arrive, and they just put everything in a box. So we don't really do anything. We don't have to pack. So July 3rd, is the, the, the boat leaves with our stuff. I think I'm going to take the kids to Japan for two days so they can go to the Pokemon Center in Japan. And then uh, from Japan, we'll make our way back to Washington, D.C. They unpack it. They pack it. Why am I leaving? Um, it's a bit of work stuff, uh, some transfer stuff for the work. But also, my kids have been accepted to a very, very prestigious private school in the United States. And uh, it was an opportunity that we just couldn't pass up. I don't need to go to church. I'll go this way. Uh, I'm a permanent resident of Hong Kong. We will have some residency here. I think we might we might take a very low-priced apartment and use it as our base while going back and forth to the United States a lot. But uh, I, I don't think... I think I'm going to go back, and I'll probably be gone for a good six months at the minimum before I come back here. My wife is a U.S. citizen, yes. Yeah, well, we're going to live in Upper Northwest, which is a bit higher than the rest of D.C. swamp life, I hope. If I can find a house. I have to sell my house. Guys, everybody wants to buy a nice Chesapeake Bay waterfront house. I'm going to be selling our, our house. Here comes that storm I was warning about. Crap. I took too long to watch the dead tree. I don't want to get blasted. So I guess the cat's one.
I need to sell it so I can buy the, the, the bigger, more expensive house in the city. So I need to get the equity out of that house so I can buy the next house. Because so I bought that house on the bay a long time ago, and there's there's a lot of unused equity. If I, if I sell it, I'll have a, a good amount of change. Thunderstorm, I won't go back to work on the hill. Um, no, it's a typhoon, actually. Ah, wet foot. Hey, moms, how are you? Welcome to Hong Kong on a blustery, rainy day with Typhoon Irwina, I think is what it's called. Typhoon Irwina, hello, hola. Which is uh, coming in off the coast. And the Caps won the cup. Yay, Caps. Ovechkin needed one. I mean, he's been like the star of the NHL for so many years, and he doesn't have a cup to his name. Yeah, Century 21 is here. Yeah, there are quite a few Century 21 independently owned and operated. So this is the diner. I haven't eaten at the diner in a couple months. I think, I don't think we're going to skip. I think we're going to go down... I'm kind of tempted to go to Shake Shack, but I, I, it's a trade-off. I don't think anyone would line up to go to Shake Shack today because it's raining. But then there's a lot of people who are not willing to go out to, to eat, so... Well, where do we go now? Mm, I guess we go this way. I'm trying to think which way is going to like get me undercover the quickest should it start to really rain. Yeah, I think there's gonna be. I think there's gonna be a line at Shake Shack. I think because the people that work in that building are probably like, we, we can't go out today because it's a typhoon. So let's just go local. Let's just go to Shake Shack. Mm. I've got an umbrella. What time is it anyway? What time is it on the East Coast right now? It must be around noon, yeah? Oh, it's 11, isn't it? So I can't get fish and chips. He's not open yet. The pizza guy. I could get noodles. We could, Shake Shack opens at 11. could do. We haven't gone to McDonald's Gourmet in a while. 11.10. Oh, so, you know, we could go to Shake Shack, see if there's a line. If there is a line, we could go to McDonald's Gourmet. I don't know who you're going to follow next. Or maybe we should just go to McDonald's Gourmet right now. What do you guys think? Should we check the Shake Shack or should we just go straight to McDonald's Gourmet? Uh, it's 11.14 or something. McDonald's Gourmet, Mickey D's, okay. We got some votes for Mickey D's. Let's see how the traffic is. There's a cab over there. Ah, there's a cab right here. He's open. I'm just going to grab him. He can stop. What's this guy get some? Let's just take Hi. a taxi. Hi. Hi, Admiralty. Admiralty MTR. Nice. Hmm.
heavy stuff's coming down. That's a school schoolgirl uniform. Tim, someplace. No, we're going to McDonald's for May. Pretty much the same. They wear the same clothes. And you can Google it. There's tons of them to see on Google. This is an art club, the fringe club. This is the foreign correspondence club. A lot of drunks in there. They're actually pretty nice. They got a lot of leg room and uh, foot play. Toyota Crown Comfort. Yeah, it's not available. A lot of the cars are not available in the U.S. I like the uh, Toyota Sprinters, the minibuses, and uh, the Crown Comfort. Cool. That was all this traffic. I think I've seen that. I mean, this is an old model, late model car. I don't see all these Toyotas. I don't think anything in the U.S. looks like that. Are there any cars in the U.S. that look like that? I don't think so. Yeah, that's almost there. I think it's actually later than that, but the body shape is definitely very 19. Well, you know, I had a 93 Toyota Corolla. It wasn't much different than that shape. A little bit, you know, the blocky kind of shape. Yeah, boxy cars are out. Where really can't we? That's because it's rain everywhere. I kind of do my best to try to focus through the rain drops. I will sell my van. So if you guys want to buy a Nissan El Grand, cheap, I'm going to be selling it. Probably about 5000 bucks US.
I just delete all. Just give me twenty. Okay, thank you. Ah, it's rain, rain, rain comes down, 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 and it sucks, sucks, sucks. Umbrella up. Wonderton powers activate. You can't get a cab here. It won't stop here. Over there. Taxi. Yeah. yeah other side. Yaobing, yeah, just down in Yaobing. Yeah. Ah. Try to help somebody with a kid and looking for a taxi. Okay, we're at McDonald's Gourmet. Ooh. I don't want to move back that much, but it's my kids, you know? I got to do what's right for my kids. So let's get a condom. So we need, need an umbrella condom. for her pleasure. And we're at McDonald's Gourmet. Woo! English. Eat in. Okay, here. Burger. Bakery style bun. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're pretty advanced here. Beef. 130 grams of Angus beef. Cheese. No cheese today. Lettuce. Tomatoes, caramelized onions. Saucy ketchup. Mustard mayonnaise. Big Mac sauce. American barbecue sauce. Truffle sauce. Exotic. Should we get a beef and chicken burger? Answer you. I didn't see your comment. You've got to understand. It's pouring rain here. It was. Pineapple. What was your comment? Sorry, I didn't see it. Bacon, eggs, guacamole. Liberal education in DC compared to the value if in Hong Kong. Uh, the, the value is that the schools in America are better attuned to the demands of American universities. And it's easier to get into a good American university from the United States rather than being the one or two kids that make it from Hong Kong. Oh, I wanted, what the heck? Mm, I wanted fries with that. And make it a meal. Oh, yeah. Ooh, they got potato wedges again. Fries. It's, for, it's business, basically. There's a lot more opportunities for me there right now. Coke Zero that I need to take advantage of. Oh, sharing wings, terrible. Taro pie, barbecue wings, apple pie wings, high calcium. There we go. Burger is done. There we go. Proceed to check out. I'm an Asian. Oh, you want to hook up a guy? You understand that there are too many women here and not enough men. As a result, um, there's guys can just like have two or three girlfriends all the time paid with my subway card oh and we have ordered our burger Woohoo! so now the order has been sent to burger command wife will transfer that's it oh okay I don't, most of the single guys i know i mean there are, there are a few festival walk and the burger wasn't that good this is um admiralty this is called mcdonald's next McDonald's Next is the world's first, I'm not going to practice law, but I can't help it. The world's first gourmet burger place. Um, 
So Burger Command makes my burger, and it's cooking right there, actually. This is the special grill. It's lunchtime. It's 11 something. So let's go back over here, back into the depths of McDonald's, and well, they're fixing the hand-washing station right now. Wait till they're done. Okay, where should we sit? I usually sit over there, but I'll tell you what, sit here. Oh, you can actually order by app. You'll hate DC. Oh, I will hate DC. But I'll get to I'll get used to it. Oh. Check this out. So, step one, scan to download the app. Here you go, guys. You can all download the app. Here, you can capture that image. And then scan here to pay and complete the order. Order by the app, and then choose your restaurant, and then they deliver. This is cool. So basically, you order on the app, and they deliver the food right here. Very cool. So this is McDonald's. I've got a number. Yeah, I already ordered, yeah, so there's no need to download. But if you're in a hurry, you can just come in and scan and pay and just get your food delivered uh, right to your table. Oh. Where should we go? Nah, glasses. They don't have drive-through here. Are you moving into the home I own in Maryland? Yes, temporarily until I can sell it. Oh, I've been watching a long time. I'm sorry to have to go for a while. Welcome to Hong Kong. I've lived here eight years, actually. You're going to order other burger? <laughs> cool. Uh, you know what? You could just, you could pay. If you guys want to say, hey, you know what? I wonder. I wonder if they would deliver to me. If you, like, scan. My kids are born in the U.S. So you guys could, like, order me a burger and then scan and have it. I guess, do they deliver? That would be wicked, wouldn't it? Can you pay right here? Yeah, you can pay right here. So with that McDonald's app that you download here, order me 10 bag bags, and then you just get them delivered. I don't know if they actually come here or if they, like, if you like, have to go pick them up. This is McDonald's Gourmet. It's actually really quite good. Uh, this is Angus beef from Australia. For delivery, I don't know. This, I don't know how this app works, so. BK, I had Burger King yesterday, yeah? Where should we go? So this is my McDonald's. How do they know which table if you don't? Because I think the table number is right here. The minimum wage is $4 an hour. My burger, fries, and Coke ran me $10 US. But remember, I got a double burger. It takes about five or ten minutes to make this burger, so we're sort of stuck here. I don't really have that much to show you. My hand. Want to read my palm? Ooh. They do not have all-you-can-eat buffets here. That's why there are so many obese people everywhere. It's because they have to eat at many different restaurants. I'm very curious about this. I am an old man. My meal was $10 US. Is there a chip in the table? There used to be chips in the table, and they used to have these little buzzers, but then they got rid of the buzzers. And uh, this one. Yeah, that's what they say. Oh, I, found it. I just read that too, that like a thousand restaurants. Yeah, moving. We're going to move back to DC. I don't know which one's which. What do people put on their burgers? Ketchup. Mustard, lettuce, onions. I am moving back to the United States in um, in a month. We have an opportunity for my kids and an opportunity for our family that we just have to take advantage of. So here's our meal. Here's our ticket. Yep, we're moving back. Um, I lived in Georgetown for about five or ten years. We're going to live a little bit farther north. They sell beer at Burger King here. The whole family is coming eventually, yeah. So I got a burger with a bun and ketchup, lettuce, double patties of beef, fries, no shake, shake seasoning, Coke Zero, 
and 75 so it's nine dollars and 75 cents American paid with my octopus card and we're at the uh, McDonald's Hong Kong number this is number 240 so there, this is McDonald's number 240 yeah well I do the style scope I'll try but it's not gonna be as interesting because well you guys will be working when I'm eating No free refills here. Yeah, see, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. It's close, but it's not perfect. Will I be back in Hong Kong after we move to the United States? Possibly, possibly. We have that option of coming back. Honestly, we're testing out the school. If my kids like the school, we'll stay. If we like the school, we'll stay. If we don't like the school, and we're not happy socially, culturally, then we'll come back. I mean. Hong Kong is not our home, but we really do fit in here. Show us an old brick building. There isn't really any right now. Yeah, in Georgetown, I can't. I was, that's what I felt when I was in Georgetown. I was like, God, why is everything so shabby now in America? It just felt shabby. Maybe it's because I'm, you know, in a McDonald's that looks like this. And, uh, you know, the McDonald's in the U.S. have dirty linoleum floors. Uh, no, the Obama kids went to Sidwell Friends. We're actually going to a school down the way from there. We didn't get into Sidwell Friends. I think they applied, yeah? I don't know if the shake machine's broken. The hand washing machine is broken. Send them to UVA. Um, we'll look on a little MIT, maybe Stanford, if he slacks off a bit. No, it's not fast food because it's made, it's custom made. This move is, a large part of this move is education. A large part of it is my career. I'm going to do a video blog. It's going to be, it's about, I'm going to rename my video blog Reverse Culture Shot. And I'm going to talk about all the things. So I'll be vlogging quite a bit about the reverse culture. More than 70 millimeters of rain have been recorded in the Southern District over the last, oh God. So we got heavy rain coming. It's a good thing I'm in here safe. You know what we're going to do after this, though? We're going to go out to the waterfront. I mean, where else could be in the typhoon? How many McDonald's in Hong Kong? Well, this one is McDonald's 240. And this was opened about two years ago. So there's probably at least 240 McDonald's in Hong Kong. I'm not kidding. There's at least 240 McDonald's. So let's wait for Burger Transport Command. Burger Airlift Command. They're very happy here. They're extremely happy here. Don't know if they're going to be that happy in America. We'll see. We'll see. Um, they don't really know anything about America. They 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 already ordered already put my order in. Hey India. They go there in the summer, but see they don't really have any friends right now. So it'll be a little bit rough at the beginning. Young people just expect that they will rent their entire life. Yeah, basically. How do they know what table you are? Or do they have a they have a big number on my table? Seventy six is nine U.S. dollars. It's expensive, but it's it's pretty yummy too. But well, what's a what's a like what's a meal cost in the U.S. now? What's a like a value meal of like seven eight dollars? I haven't washed my hands because the hand wash station right there is under repair. I want to wash my hands, but she's like in the way. She's cleaning the garbage can. So I can't wash my hands. So as soon as she's done cleaning the garbage can with a like, she's polishing the garbage can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I could like go buy a Caps jersey and run around screaming. I was in DC the last time the Redskins won. That was kind of cool. I actually chatted up some girls by telling them I was a PhD student writing a dissertation on mob violence. I do some tech consulting now and then. There is not the same drug culture in Hong Kong that exists in the United States. That's gonna be an adjustment. Gotta to talk to my kids about dopamine inhibitors and what it means for their neurological development. We've had that discussion already. You know the, the stoner culture that exists in the United States, you know, 
whenever you see a movie from the United States, there's always like the one guy, the stoner guy. You know, every school has like a bunch of guys who are like, you know, the stoner culture. Yeah, hey, we're cool, da da da. Well, that sort of culture doesn't exist here. Sure, there are drugs here. There are kids who use drugs here, but they don't find the peer support that they find in the United States. They don't find that group of, you know, five or ten percent of the kids who are like, yeah, man, that's a great idea. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah. They don't find that peer pressure to uh, fit in, or like, which is actually kind of interesting because there have been kids who have transferred to Hong Kong with the Bob Marley haircuts and whatnot, and they show up at the American school and they're just like, what the hell? Oh, here he comes. Here comes my waiter. So you see this guy? This guy is bringing my burger. Yep. This is Burger Command. Burger Transport Command. Great. Thank you. Uh, that's it. Mm. Great. Thank you much. Mm. Mm. I now declare this burger mine. Let's pull out. So let's pull out the wet wipe here. It's Angus beef from Australia. What has changed most in Hong Kong over the years? I don't know, it's changing every single day, actually. Let's uh, use the french fries as a tripod. Yes, this is McDonald's Gourmet in Hong Kong. We double burgered today. Stand by for, oh, hang on a second, let's wipe our hands off. And they had barbecue sauce as an option, I just went with ketchup. They had Big Mac sauce as an option. Here we go, guys. Oh, oh look at that grease, man, look at that grease. Mm. Mm. Oh, man. Ah, it was juicy. Mm, it like melts in your mouth. Let's do that again. No, I'm not a big cheese man. Unless it's a pizza. Oh yeah, number two, line up. Come on, baby. Come to butthead. Oh. Mm -hmm. Red rain. Oh wow. What? You want more? You want more? Yeah, yeah, I'll give you more. Oh. There's this green stuff in here. No. Uh. So we're about halfway through our burger right now, and I'd say it's going very well. Oh, I'm gonna walk in the tea. Mm, we gotta catch up on the sucker. Okay. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Today's about a nine. This is Angus beef from Australia. Mm. Um, um. Um. Um, um. So you're just joining us. Welcome to the McDonald's Gourmet in Hong Kong. This is made in a separate kitchen from the Big Macs and the Nuggets. Oh. Mm. It's falling apart now. Little pieces of the burger are coming out. Mm. You are so delicious. 
This is McDonald's Gourmet. Um, um, um. Let's reload this sucker. Oh, I got Oh, it's 260 grams. Yep, real sugar. It's about, it's about seven ounces of beef. Uh, it's Australian. The beef is from Australia. Mm. Mm. I don't know what car I'm going to get. Um, I've tried cryptocurrencies mostly. Mm. Oh. Okay, last bite. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Oh. Oh, woo. And I'm spent. I ate some of the lettuce. Two quarter pounder with 12 bucks. Yeah, this was nine something. The fries, the fries taste like McDonald's fries. So, nothing really. Wrong. I'd love to like open like 10 restaurants in DC. All my favorite places from Hong Kong. Oh. The fries taste exactly like French fries in America, except they're not soggy. Like, yeah. Let's go super hard. Now I'll get wonton. Well, we just had a red rain warning. So. Poor people in America who would never eat this. Uh, poor people in Australia, I guess. Oh. Okay, so let's get out of here. Let's get rid of our umbrella cut. I'm going to leave those fries. Yeah, I just can't eat all those fries. After that burger, I'm spent. So. We're just gonna orphan those babies. Orphan them french fries. Oh God, you want a burger, that was so good. Like that, yeah, maybe. Okay, so the red rain hasn't hit us yet, obviously, it's not that bad. Woo. You know, no, I don't, I don't eat food that I'm not hungry for. I think, yeah, maybe it's a waste, but I think that's actually part of the problem in the United States is that the portion sizes are so big and we've all been taught, eat your plate, eat everything on your plate. And I think that just leads to uh, people eating more than they should. I'm not hungry. I'm actually kind of full. I don't want to eat those fries. I could eat them. I mean, math, I mean, here I could, but I just would be right to making myself wait. It's, um... So Typhoon, we've just got a red rainstorm warning, which is actually kind of a bad thing. Um, I don't know where it is. There aren't that many homeless here. There's only about 800 homeless people in Hong Kong, if you count the government's number. The, real, the private sector says there's more like 2,000 homeless, but there's 7.4 million. And frankly, if you, gave, if you said, I'll give you $100 right now if you can find a homeless person, I, I'd lose. Uh, I, I really, I really seriously could not find a homeless person. Uh, it would take me quite a while to find one in this area. I, know, I mean, I know where they are in other parts of town. There are a few, but they're not like widespread like they are in the United States. Have I been on bullet trains? Yes, I've been on Japanese bullet trains and Chinese bullet trains. Do I feel homeless? No, I don't. What did I eat on my Japan trip? Mostly udon. Like we done.
No, red rain is the medium rain. We have amber, red, and black. Black rain is like, get off the streets. I don't know if we can get Sirius radio over here. It's the satellite pattern is not the same. I mean, we're on the other side of the planet, so the satellites that you use are not the satellites that we can get. Because I don't, don't spend time thinking about what it's like to be homeless. I don't spend time thinking about what it's like to be a neurosurgeon. I don't spend time thinking about what it's like to be a pro football player. I don't just sit around and idly think about what my life would be if it was something else. I don't. I think about what my life is now and what I want to do. Uh, it is a typhoon, but right now we're in a uh, gap in the typhoon. Ah, uh, yeah, we can day trade. We're doing some of that now. I prefer to do it. Was it a Cat 5? No, 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 no. It wasn't even actually, I think it was a, I don't know, I guess it was a typhoon or a tropical cyclone. I don't know what level it got up to. You know what? Let's actually stop raining for a moment. I'm going to put this umbrella down and dry my hands a bit. Now, somewhere in the island, we've got a red rain. Let's pull up the uh, radar map and see if we can find that. I don't know if it was for... Uh, we had water spouts, too, last night. So, yeah, see, we got the uh, Typhoon, Typhoon 3 warning. So we got landslides, thunderstorms, red rain, typhoon three, typhoon map, and other things. So let's see what the radar is saying. Oh wow, so the heavy stuff just went through. So now we've kind of got a gap, but there's a there's a little bit coming. Uh, look at that, that one at the end there. That, there's a little one coming over the south side. So that big mother, that's the one that dumped all the rain on us. Red rain is a warning level. God, look at all those clouds over there. Uh, yellow, amber rain, red rain, and black rain. Black rain, you can't see anything. I mean, there's just so much rain, you just can't see anything. Red rain is kind of in the middle. Um, it's all based on, like, how much rain falls per minute or hour or something like that. I think black rain is like, I don't know, three inches an hour or something like that. Can you take a trip over to the countryside? I in the country, I go, out, I go out in the mountains all the time, up around the peak and stuff. Uh, I don't go up to the new territories that often. We do occasionally go out there. But, you know, I've got a life and busy stuff to do down in the city all the time. Oh, you can see those clouds just whiffing across. This is, a, uh, this is a visually impaired thing. These things always make noise. It's kind of like calling people who are visually impaired to like find the map. I've been to Macau many times. What do I do? I'm a dad. I do dad stuff. So last night we went to the toy markets with my kids. The Blue Ridge. I haven't been to the Blue Ridge in many, many years. I don't know. I don't know what my life's going to be in the United States. We want our kids to do youth soccer, of course, but we've heard that youth soccer in the United States is just just well ridiculous i mean it's just crazy crazy overboard in fact we've heard most youth sports in america have sort of lost focus kids practicing four or five days a week you know um, foregoing academics for the pursuit of well not much colonial williamsburg i think it was there once I don't remember I've lived in D.C. Yeah, it's always becoming a big deal at the youth level. It's huge at the youth level, but it, it tapers off and then sort of falls by the wayside. I think, to be honest, the style of play and the manner of instruction in the United States is not exactly the best. 
there's actually too much American football and American soccer. Not enough Brazilian flair or German discipline. Ugh. So we're like in the calm in the middle of the storm right now. That's the old airport down there. Thanks, Frank. There's still some clouds over there behind the Red Army base. Might be some positive. Uh, barbecue. Yeah, barbecue in America. Jimmy John's. I haven't had Jimmy John's in over a year. I mean, there's that. We have a very good community of friends and colleagues here. We fit in. We we really enjoy the city. Um, and some of the reasons that we enjoy this city, we simply will not be able to enjoy Washington D.C. I mean, the idea of going out at 12 at night and getting wonton noodles in you know Washington D.C. and actually having a choice of wonton noodles, <laughs> you know, it's just not how it is in America. And, you know, the concept of the wife, like, hey, it's 1030, I'm just going to walk home tonight. You know, that's just not something that's done in a big city in America. So some of those things that we've kind of taken for granted over here, we're going to lose when we go back. I tell the story to a friend of mine. It's like we are at a soccer game once, and the game was over, and we had to go to some other birthday party. They're like, you know that birthday party? And I'm like, yeah. like, Hey, why don't you take? Why don't I take your kids? We'll, we'll, I'll give them lunch, and then I'll take them. That way, you guys can go. Well, okay, yeah, you can take my kids. That's cool. I mean, I'm not going to have that level of familiarity with a new family in America for well a while. Hong Kong's very transient too, but the fact is, here in Hong Kong, everybody knows it's transient. Um, in DC. People go into D.C. and they sort of stay in their same silos that they had before. Oh, I'm in this group of people with this group of friends. They're not as really as open uh, to meeting people. Here you're like, okay, I'm 6,000 miles from home. I don't know anybody. Let me be nice to these people and maybe they'll help me out. That's kind of more, more here. It's more open here. It's much easier to make friends here. Uh, and when you do make friends, there are actually a lot of people who are very similar in their lifestyle. You know, they educated in the West, working for companies, moving over here to Asia. They have a similar outlook on the idea of foreign travel. I mean, you know, I go to the United States and people are like, oh, we're going to travel to France this year. And over here, they're like, I'm going to be in France, England, and the United States this month. And next month, I'll be over in the Philippines. Da, da, da. So it's just different. It's just different. I just have to get used to those differences. I have to get used to driving a car again. For the basic necessities of life, which I'm really, really not looking forward to that, I must say. That's the IFC tower. It's kind of pointy at the top. That one over there is square. That's the ICC tower. It's actually picking up rain. There's Central Hong Kong right now, Bankers Row. Those are all banks, basically, down there. We will be able to buy on Amazon. We can buy some things on Amazon, but not everything. The only problem with eating a greasy hamburger is that now I've got like grease on my hands and I was trying to wipe it off, but I must have got some on my umbrella before I wiped it off. So it's 10 to 12. Caps did win. I'm thinking I'm going to go up to the peak now. I think, I think the worst of the storm is over.
I don't think the Ferris wheel is going around. It's a Typhoon 3 warning, so. Stroop waffles. Oh, okay. Why am I eating and walking alone? Because I'm not alone. I'm with you guys. My kids are in school. My wife's at work. She's over there. And Typhoon 3 is not a bad thing. Hong Kong worth vacationing. Asia is worth vacationing. Hong Kong is one of those stops you should make in Hong in Asia. I wouldn't say come if you're coming on vacation. I would not come straight to Hong Kong and just to Hong Kong. Come to Tokyo in Hong Kong, or come to Bangkok in Hong Kong, or Korea in Hong Kong. Make it one stop of a say a two week journey to Asia. Otherwise, you're going to spend. I mean, realize you're going to spend three days adjusting to the time zone at least. Yeah, the typhoon has blown through the last big band. There's another band coming, but not for a while. We are eating a hamburger when the worst of it came through, luckily. Let's put this umbrella down now. It's all over there. Really about a mile or two. It's pouring rain just about a two miles over that way. But the wind is blowing the opposite direction, so we're trying to do it. Yeah, so, I mean, it's a 12-hour time difference. I mean, right now it's, it's noon, basically. So if you're coming from the East Coast where it's about midnight, I mean, there's no easy way to do a 12-hour time difference. There's no, like, oh, just go to bed a little bit earlier every night. Yeah, that doesn't work when it's a 12-hour time difference. It's basically just, like, adjust, deal with it. So if you're coming to Hong Kong for, say, five to seven days, if you're going to spend three days adjusting, oh, that sucks. the Maritime Museum. I haven't been to the Maritime Museum in a couple of years. I should go one day with the kids. They should put like boats here though. 10,000 steps a day in the U.S. I will attempt to do 10,000 steps a day. I really don't know how I'm going to do it though. It's so difficult. But here, I mean, geez, I just walk anywhere, yeah? In the U.S., where am I going to walk? God forbid I end up walking in shopping malls with old ladies. These are the free newspaper delivery men. They hand out free newspapers on the streets. Most of which get grabbed, bought up by cardboard recyclers. Maybe in Singapore, not Hong Kong. I saw an interesting bit, the North Koreans don't want to pay for their hotel bill. So the United States is trying to find a way to quietly pay for their hotel bill. I think a treadmill is a must when I get to the United States. Let you watch the Star Ferry come in. So this is the ferry that goes back and forth across the harbor every seven, eight minutes. All back full, Mr. Spock. It costs about 20 cents American to ride the ferry to the other side. Stick man, stick man, grab that stick. Get it, grab that rope. Stick man, good catch, good catch. Stick man's got a rope today so he doesn't fall in.
Beartooth Highway just opened yesterday. Wow. Uh, I don't really like sushi. I eat sushi a bit, but not a ton. I eat more fish and chips than I do sushi. My kids love sushi. They go quite a bit. I think we had sushi like two days ago. You can watch my replays. We were in the sushi restaurant two days ago. Oh, how's it going? Yeah, the Beartooth Highway is a beautiful drive if you've never been. Connecting Yellowstone with Billings, Montana. One of the uh, amazing drives that exists in the United States. It just opened, I guess, recently because it takes that long to clear all the snow. It's only open a few months a year. So if you do get a chance, if you ever find yourself in Yellowstone, uh, it's a wonderful drive up to Billings uh, on the Beartooth Highway. It's, it is worth it. We did that last year. In fact, you can find it on my YouTube channel, Penguin 6. Just type Penguin 6 road trip or something. You can find my whole video blog as we drove across the United States last year to 21 days with two kids and a wife. She slept most of the trip, though. I mean, it's just fun. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going up to the peak now. I'm going to go do my 10,000 steps. I'm going to take this taxi right here. Hope you enjoyed watching it. I'll try to come back from the peak in just a bit. And I will talk to you all very, very soon.